Right, so if you remember in the last lesson we looked at squares, cubes and powers of numbers. Now we're going to extend that idea a bit further to work out square roots and cube roots. So, if I've got the square root of 9 that means I want to find the number that when I times it by itself I get 9. And we know that if I've got 3 times 3, that equals 9, okay? So, the square root of 9 is 3, okay? And now I want to find the square root of 4. 2 times 2 is 4, so the square root of 4 is 2. This one, that's the square root of 36. And again, that means I need to find a number that when I times it by itself I get 36 and that's 6 and this one I need to find a number that when I times it by itself I get 81 and that's 9 if I do 9 times 9 I get 81 right and the cube roots now if you remember from the last lesson I did 2 to the 3 we could work that out 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. Now, I want for a cube root here, what I need to do is I need to find a number that when I times it by itself 3 times, I get this number 8 here. Right? So if I times 2 times 2 times 2, that gives us 8. So the cube root of 8 is 2. Okay. Now from the last lesson as well, we also did this one, I think, if I remember. Right. So I want to find a number again that when I times it by itself three times, I get 64. Now for times 4 by 4, I get 16. I times 16 by 4 I get 64. So the cube root of 64 is 4. And the same for 125, I want to find a number that when I times it by itself 3 times, I get 125. And that's going to be 5. Now, just an extra challenge for people who want to know a little bit more about this, you can actually have the cube root of a negative number. Negative numbers will be coming up later on. And if you can work with negative numbers, you'll know that if you do 2 times neg negative 2 times negative 2, you get negative 4. And then if you got negative 4 times 2, you get negative 8. So the cube root of negative 8 is negative 2 but however you cannot have the square root of a negative number if I do 5 times 5 that gives us 25 and if I do negative 5 times negative 5 I'll say in one of my later lessons, if you need some help with this, that if you've got a negative number times a negative number, you actually get a positive. So there you get 25. So neither of those are roots. Okay? So now we just say that it doesn't exist. Right? But later on, we'll learn about complex numbers. And we'll find out that there is actually a solution to this. But for now, we're not going to use a and use complex numbers. So for now, we're just going to say that there's no real roots. That's called. Okay.